Investigators are trying to figure out why a worker died and two firefighters were hurt in Middletown. These are pictures of the scene sent to us by our partners at WLWT Television in Cincinnati. We know that crews were called to the 2500 block of Yankee Road. Jordan Burgess has been piecing together what we know. He is live with an update. We just got word one of those firefighters is in critical condition at Miami Valley Hospital. At this hour, officials are still at that manhole trying to figure out just what it was in the air that killed that worker and overcame those two firefighters. Take a look at this video from the scene as workers surround that manhole and the 2500 block of Yankee Road outside the air products plant. At this moment, they're doing air quality tests and say so far they haven't discovered what proved to be so lethal. But they say the area around the manhole doesn't appear to be hazarded at this point. That wasn't the case around 8 this morning when city worker Jabin Lakes opened the manhole to inspect it. The 31-year-old Lakes was overcome by fumes and fell to his death down the 20 to 30 foot hole. Other workers called for help. Two firefighters, Bob Hess and Todd Wismeyer, tried to rescue Lakes, but they were also overcome. Wismeyer was flown to Miami Valley Hospital. Hess was taken to Atrium Medical Center in Middletown. Right now, officials are baffled by this tragedy. We're not sure what's happened yet. We've done some initial readings. Uh, uh, we, the initial readings did not show sewer gas. However, we're still looking into what may, may or may not have been in there. Right now, city officials are planning a news conference for 2 p.m. We hope then to get more answers about what happened at that manhole this morning. And we'll have the latest tonight starting at 5. Jordan Burgess, 2 News on your side.